I'd like to welcome you to the Berga Area School District. The Berga Area Schools is located in Michigan's Upper Peninsula along the shores of the beautiful Lake Superior. My name is Norm McKinless and I'm the Superintendent of Schools here at Berga. And I'd like to bring you to our school district to show you a few things and to introduce you to some people that are uh, either administrators, teachers, and students of our schools to uh, give you an idea of what happens up here in the UP. Many natural resources are available to the residents and the visitors of the area as well as many winter and summer sports such as snowmobiling, fishing, and the like. Our school district serves grades K-12 through and is made up of 528 students. Of that, 45% of our population is tribal affiliated and the tribe in our area is the Ojibwa tribe and each and every year the school district is involved in uh, many collaborative efforts with this tribe in terms of our educational program. The school district is made up of two buildings. One building has houses grades 3 through 12 and is located in Baraga and the other building is located in Pelkey about eight miles away from this building. The Pelkey building was built in the mid-1930s and is probably one of the few in the state of Michigan that still uses a coal-fired steam heating system. The district went through an energy uh, upgrade here about three years ago and through that uh, effort um, the district received the Energy Star Award. The Barraga School District received recognition from the Environmental Protection Agency for their recent efforts to become more energy efficient. From the gymnasium to the classrooms, new full-spectrum lights are helping Barraga area schools reduce their energy use by up to 35 percent. They've made adjustments everywhere from the boiler room to the vending machines. The school was awarded an Energy Star plaque last spring for ranking in the top 25 percent of energy efficient schools across the country. So we're very proud of the fact that we've, we've gotten to that point with this built the building in Berga and we're hopeful to do some energy upgrades in the Pelkey building. The recent economic downturn in the United States has not uh, left the Upper Peninsula alone. The highest unemployment rate in the state of Michigan is Berger County, where we are right now. Berger County currently has a 28% unemployment rate, and even on a good year, uh, the rate will plummet from 28% to down around 12%. The Berger Area School District has about 59% of our students who will receive free and reduced breakfast and lunch. But in spite of that, our students um, do very well they, uh, our state test scores have gone up over the last five years significantly. Hello, my name is Jennifer Lynn. I'm the elementary principal for Barraga Area Schools. The two schools that I serve at are Pelkey Learning Center, that's our kindergarten through second grade building, and Philip Latondras Elementary School, our third through sixth grade building. The sixth grade classrooms have a portable laptop lab that allows students to work with their teachers in their classrooms and at their desks, developing multimedia presentations, re doing research on the internet, and extending those opportunities and getting them utilizing technology more right before they advance to the middle school. Academic success is the focus at Barraga Area Schools. In order to ensure this, our teachers and administration in conjunction with other stakeholders in the community are engaged in a continuous improvement model. Currently we are focusing our school improvement efforts on positive behavioral supports school-wide. We are also focusing on early reading intervention. Hi, my name is Paige Maskell. I'm a senior at Barriga High School. Um, I'm also the vice president of the senior class, and today I'm going to tell you what it's like to spend a day at Barriga. Barriga High School has a lot of clubs and organizations offered to students, such as a group called SAD, which is Students Against Destructive Decisions, also High School Bowl, which is a scholastic competition, and International Club, which gives students a chance to travel across seas. This year's International Club is actually traveling to Great Britain. We also have programs such as National Honor Society, Student Council, Band, and Athletics. I'm Dennis Rusbacher. Um, I've been at Barrigaria Schools as a student in the 60s. Um, 
and as a teacher uh, for 32 years in the, in the math and chemistry classroom, and now for the fourth year I've been the high school principal uh, at Barriga High School. A source of pride has been our math and science department. We have had many students who have graduated from here gone on successfully and to be engineers, um, research scientists, in the medical field, doctors, a cardiologist, and uh, in fact one of our students, she uh, is now presently one of the lead engineers in the Hoover Dam Bridge Project. So obviously a source of pride for, for Barrick Area Schools is our, is our alumni. Not only that area, we have uh, Barrick is a blue collar community. It's been a manufacturing community, you know, since uh, the 50s and the 60s and uh, our career and technical education program has produced all throughout the years uh, job ready students who are welders, you know, woodworkers, uh, they can go into the construction business, uh, be carpenters. In fact right now we have a state certified vocational construction program uh, which means that um, it is recognized to the level that there is actually an articulation agreement with two colleges in the Upper Peninsula, Northern Michigan University and Golgiva Community College that students who have taken our vocational construction program get credit for taking that class when they go to those schools. Our technology program, you know, for a small school um, is, I think, second to none. A lot of foresight has been put into the thinking of our, our technology. We've, we have multiple computer labs throughout the school. They're kept up to date, uh, never more than probably four years old with the, uh, the computer technology. We have implemented smart boards, document cameras, you know, the latest and greatest uh, technology that's available to, to schools nowadays. Barriga, as most schools, is continually dedicated ourselves to uh, school improvement, you know, where we are constantly self-assessing ourselves, our curriculum, so that we are aligned with state and, and federal standards and benchmarks. So, um, you know, we feel very proud of Barriga Schools and, uh, you know, where we've been and where we're headed.